someday. Chunks bottom a little bit, but will not finish the turret. Uh, they have lost, I think, the last two dragons now, but because they did, the, you know, ground that infernal, uh, obviously it's still quite a long way away from the soul there for our thieves. Uh, and I think Dignitas in general uh, feels like, you know, with the Nidalee, with the Camille, they're probably want to be more focused on the split push. Somebody gets chucked, but he's back out on the map, and the dragon hasn't spawned yet, so you know, won't be much of a of a game here for Dignitas. Viper going for the solo, though. The has been splitting around uh -huh. the entire time. Grada in a bad spot. Flash to get away. Stun comes in from Phoenix holding the front line. Knocked into the air, though. Big punch. It's not going to be enough. Contract playing that deal. And it's 100 Ds finding ways to fight back. They will lose this Drake. Good by Viper. The macro play was nice by Dig, but an overstep from Phoenix is going to give some top side bounce control yeah. back to 100 Ds. I mean, that just seems like miscommunication or, or a poor understanding of, of what's going on there from Phoenix. Your bot lane is not that close to you. Uh, Dardock is, is flashing out, so Dardock's trying to, to get away. He's not actually looking to, to re-engage, and I think someday, it, unless you have such a long time to actually go 1v1 against them, so I'd rather be trying to go the turret, but they are starting this up, and with the rotation coming over, they saw the blue orb, they see that Baron getting ulted by the bard, so they will just back it up and buy more time here now for Viper, who knows that he is alone in a 1v1 down here. As real chunks, right on with a half HP this, there. This you can see it. Viper exactly. goes to the turret itself, goes yep. to half HP, feels comfortable, and he knows the entire team is pulled over, right? He's like, okay, four people mid. I know I'm not going to kill by Sunday. I will trade half my life bar. And then you heal back to full off the next wave. And the next wave, that turret is dead for the same trade. Exactly, right? And, and the Krugs are even up. So he can go over there and he heals up off that. You're, you know, there still is a tremendous amount of damage that can come through from this Nidalee and from this Ezreal. So they're really kind of walking this line very effectively between committing to the Baron, you know, being close enough that Hunter Thieves always have to respect that rush uh, and never actually being in range for the engage. They've dodged the Bardolph when they did come through. Who has that up again? So they've got that I think honestly one of one of my, my problems here with 100 Ds and how they're playing this is it feels like Poom is going for the priority targets of Nidalee and Ezreal who have abilities to actually get away from the ult you need to just take Karma someone who is going to have to expend the flash if you throw that ulti towards him right, 100 Ds on the Baron and it yeah, looks like Viper isn't coming they know Viper's bot side they know